Concordia Library 101 for a student on the run. We know you're busy, so here are the basics of using the library. Of course, you can borrow books from the library, but did you know that you can also borrow DVDs, laptops, tablets, chargers, and more? Here are some additional tips to help you navigate the library. Your student card is your library card. Have it handy whenever you come to the library, especially after 11 p.m., since only Concordia students are allowed in overnight. Speaking of overnight, did you know that while library staff are at home asleep, the library remains open all night long for student use? Things you can do overnight include using the self-checkout machines to borrow books, scanning and printing, reserving a group study room, or working on your project from one of our workstations. Things you can't do overnight include returning or checking out a laptop, talking to a librarian or using the chat service, paying a library fine, or starting a 3D print project. So, before heading over, make sure to check the Open for Study Hours at the top of our Locations and Hours page and scroll down to check the specific hours of the services you need. What if you show up to the library and it's closed? There are drop boxes outside both libraries or return slots near the loans and returns desk. Library laptops and technology sandbox items must be returned during service hours only. Studying all day can make you very hungry. If you brought a snack from home, there are small designated food spots at both libraries where you can fuel up. Drinks are allowed in most parts of the library as long as they're in a spill-proof container. Seriously, we really mean a spill-proof mug or water bottle. These are spill-proof. These are not. Also, it's polite to keep your cell phone on silent when you're studying in the library. If you need to make or take a call, make sure you're in a space where talking is allowed. There are many types of study spaces to suit your needs. If you're looking for a silent space where you won't even hear a keyboard, try the Webster Friends of the Library Room. The reading rooms are also quiet spaces where laptops and workstations are permitted, but loud talking is not. Each floor of the library also has seating to accommodate collaborative work where chatting is permitted. For more focused project work with peers, reserve one of the many group study or Webster presentation practice rooms. Those are some library basics. If you're interested in learning more about navigating our resources or building your research skills, check out our library research skills tutorial. Remember, no matter what your question is, the library staff are always here to help you with your research skills and needs.